How's it going guys and girls? This is Carring Egg Lock coming at you with another video of some tactical gear that I purchased and um, this piece right here would actually be a US military modular sleeping system. Um, it is a sleeping bag. Uh, it's a high tech one. If you can consider sleeping bags high tech, this would be it. But um, I got it yesterday, got it off eBay, $125 used but you know guys I looked at it it's uh looks brand spanking new there's not a single tear rip or thread you know that's missing on it so I'm pretty happy the first piece guys um of the four piece system is this compression stuff sack and this whole bag fits into it um it fits in and once you compress it and stuff it it is a little over one cubic foot, so pretty small. The sleeping bag itself is a three-part system. The first camouflage part that you're looking at is a Gore-Tex bivy bag. And a bivy bag, guys, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably already know, but I'll repeat it just in case, is a waterproof cover for your sleeping bag. Uh, your sleeping bag basically goes inside and that bag will keep you dry. It'll keep you from getting wet if it's raining or if the ground is moist or um, is, you know, you're sleeping in a puddle. So the second part of the system would be the patrol sleeping bag, and that's this green bag. The third part of the system would be your cold weather or intermediate cold weather sleeping bag, and that's the black bag. The dimensions on the bivy bag, guys, are, here we go, sorry, 85 inches by 28 inches at, 85 inches by 28 at the feet and 35 at the shoulders. The patrol sleeping bag is actually 90 inches, which is the green one, 90 inches by 36 inches wide, and that's foliage green. And the intermediate, which is the black bag, is actually 85 inches by 35 inches. So, altogether, that's a combined weight of about 7 pounds, they say. So it's pretty reasonable. And the insulation is all stitched in. And the fill on that is a Polar Guard HV fill. Um, Polar Guard is the brand, if you guys have ever heard of that. So the bag itself snaps together right here on this edge. This edge right here. Um, heavy duty snaps, guys. And this is on your, this part right here is on your um, patrol bag. It keeps uh, water from getting into the seam once everything's zipped up. The whole system, guys, is rated at minus 30 degrees. Now that is pretty cold. Um, there's not gonna be too many places that you'll find, in North America at least, that are gonna be much colder than that. Not to say that there aren't any places in America that get minus 30, because there are, but Colder than that, um, probably not too often. The patrol bag is rated to 10 degrees, and the intermediate cold weather bag is rated to... Actually, sorry guys, let me switch that. The intermediate cold, the intermediate cold weather sleeping bag is rated to 10 degrees. The patrol bag is rated to 30 degrees. So with those two bags inside the bivy, the system is rated to minus 30 degrees, including wearing your wool socks, you know, some underwear, and a shirt to keep your body insulated. The bag itself, I'm six foot tall, um, and I fit in there, you know, nice and snug. The <clears throat> cold weather bag has a hood that you can, with a drawstring, that you can tighten up, you know, around you if it's on a really cold night to keep that wind off your face or whatnot. 
and if you don't need it because it's you know warm outside or you're camping in the summertime you can take the cold weather bag out and just use your bivy bag and your patrol bag and you should be nice and comfortable so this is the, like I said this is US military modular sleep system I got it yesterday and uh, I really am looking forward to going out there and using it uh, hopefully staying real warm in it and um, just to you know give everybody that's watching my videos a uh, thank you for watching I am got a tripod on the way for my Sony video camera right now I'm filming on my iPhone and I know it cuts it off on uh, the computer so on the side so I appreciate your guys patience and I'll stop rambling on and let you get to your next video thanks guys for watching have fun stay warm